Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday morning and I'm about to leave to work. Yeah, as you saw from last week's vlog, we came back yesterday in the evening from our trip to Austria to the mountains and it was really, really incredible, but coming back to reality is always tough, even if it was just one or two days away. And uh, our <laughs> return to reality is uh, quite rough because our apartment is... Uh, extremely messy. I cleaned it up before we left but then yesterday we were just so exhausted from the trip and we didn't want to do literally like anything and of course we needed to get some stuff out of the bags and uh, both Xava and me just kind of destroyed the bags and now it's all over the place so I know what I'm gonna be doing later after work today so let me just show you quickly our ritual as always she's up here and these are all of our dirty clothes that are literally in the way and our bags, another bag, shoes, uh, everything's yeah, kind of in chaos and unfortunately the kitchen doesn't look better. What is Gretu doing down here? What are you doing Gretu? Yeah, by the way, fun fact, our cats cannot drink water out of a bowl. They just refuse to do it and they only drink out of this pot plant so we put it on the floor because one time we um, or they dropped it and the whole floor was full of water so now it just stays on the floor and we fill it out and that's their like drinking pot super random I know but you know cats are random and very unpredictable but uh, yeah now I kind of have to rush to work um, since I had the day off on Friday there is a few things I have to catch up on and uh, I will update you a little bit later but uh, today doesn't seem to be you know anything special I'm gonna go off to the gym after work and we'll see what uh, we're gonna do for dinner etc uh, so see you later it is now I don't know how many hours later like eight hours later I am back from work at home and uh, yeah I've been feeling kind of down today in the mood without any like apparent reason I think I am tired and uh, yeah I felt a bit unmotivated I also forgot the gym bag that I uh, prepared for myself today so instead I booked a yoga class that I will go to later in the evening. And apart from that, I will have to tackle the mess that I showed you earlier today because yeah, I cannot live in a messy house like that. So it is a busy evening full of activities. We are just chilling after dinner, actually about to go to bed, but we have a little ghost in here. Hello. Come on, move. She was so cute before, but of course when I take the camera out... <laughs> so, are you enjoying it? Hello! Boom! <laughs> okay, I guess she's <laughs> just gonna stay here. Oh, there's some movement. <laughs> just the tail. And with that, our day is over. See you tomorrow. Hello and welcome to Tuesday. It is actually already um, around 4.30 p.m. and I just finished work. I worked from home today, aka no makeup, no, you know, made up hair or anything like that. And I am about to go to the gym, but I thought I will show you the shirt that I'm wearing today which is from Queen and fun fact about me is that I'm an absolute Queen fan I love their music so so much and my family kind of instilled that into me I uh, grew up with my parents listening to Queen or my mom loves Queen and uh, yeah weirdly it's like kind of a big part of my life and if I could meet one person that is uh, dead or go to their concert that would definitely be Freddie Mercury I absolutely love him his voice their songs but yeah I'm about to jump into the 
gym quickly sadly i didn't manage to go in the morning or during lunchtime because i had quite a lot of things to do but i will show you later our dinner and things like that but yeah honestly today is gonna be pretty short for you since there is not that much happening uh, so i will see you later on all right i just got home from the gym and i went to the grocery store and got a lot of things because our uh, fridge was basically empty and we need to cook some food so let me show you uh, my little like grocery haul first things first as you can see very obviously there's a lot of spinach I found a recipe that yeah requires a lot of spinach and since we know in the end it will be like three leaves and that's it some bananas and some white beans which are high in calories uh, in proteins sorry you are not allowed to be here go away then we have in the other bag some uh, garlic powder more like uh, beans for snacking uh, some avocados they were on sale as well barista milk for my matcha drinks, onions, some butter and uh, they have on special offer these like uh, yogurts which we don't have that often but once in a while they are nice as like a dessert so I took a few in here and then in the other bag here I got some eggs sadly uh, I didn't go to the farmer so I bought the normal ones but this is an exception then I also got some strawberries I know it's really early but they are also on special offer so I thought why not to try them out some mandarins and last but not least some tomatoes cherry tomatoes and they were also on special offer so as you can see overall lots of healthy veggies and uh, yeah we've been trying to be more healthy so she will never understand no and uh, now i will start cooking sava is working a little bit late and uh, yeah i'm normally not the one on cooking duty but on days like this when it's getting late of course i'm gonna take over and start and if he comes home then usually he takes over and helps me let's see how it will be today but i will show you the recipe once it's ready because it's something uh, new that i've never done or we've never eaten before and uh, yeah i just kind of browsed it and thought why not try something new for a change and not always eat uh, pasta with pesto so let's get to cooking and for me it will take a while for you it will only be one second as i guessed uh, xava came pretty much uh, as soon as i finished filming and i started cooking so he took over and i was able to shower and yeah feel fresh and this is the food looks really really good like i said before it's a recipe that we are trying for the first time and uh, it's uh, with beans spinach egg so lots of protein and in the end whoops you're gonna drizzle it with some feta cheese and some chili butter and i think from the looks of it it's gonna taste really well what do you say i think so too so let's put the finishing touches looks good i love feta cheese it's not too bad ah you drizzle it like that looks good amazing here it is and yeah like i said we are gonna have dinner chill and get ready for bed so i will see you tomorrow Hello and welcome to Wednesday. It is uh, 1 p.m. and today I actually have a day off from work that I'm taking on my over hours because I had some important meetings in the morning. I already came to the city at 9 a.m. to yeah, do some things and I'm 
with the public transport, which is unusual for me. And uh, yeah, now it's around 1.30 and I am done with all my appointments. The weather is beautiful and I can enjoy my day off in the city. So I'm just walking to Karlsplatz, Marienplatz and I think I will check a few little shops out, walk around, get in my steps and maybe jump in and get some matcha or chai. Like I said, to enjoy the view, to enjoy the day since Sava is anyway working, I have no more appointments, nothing to do today, so it's a good time to be a little bit outside and live the city life. And uh, yeah, I'm in a really good mood, dressed up in all blue. Seems to be that blue is my new favorite color. And uh, I will take you with me for to this uh, day outside. So I'm just walking in the city and I came across the mini lounge, which is a super cool space where you have a little cafe. Of course, they show a lot of like cars and uh, there's uh, like a little co-working area and it's very cute looking. And I think the coffee shop is also really nice. So if you have the opportunity, I think it's definitely a place to go and I just love the aesthetic of Mini as well. And it's right across Oberpollinger, which is a high-end shopping center where you also have some nice cafes and in general it's like a really nice area very centrally located and as you can see the sun is out so I'm like really really enjoying the weather um, and if you ever need to go to the bathroom then the mini lounge is also always a good option because yeah you can just go in and out uh, for someone that drinks too much water and then has to visit too much too many bathrooms that's an insider tip for you when you are in Munich but I think I will step into the Oberpollinger and check out some fancy places fancy shops because sometimes it just lifts my mood up and it gives me like inspiration of what I want to achieve and where I want to get to um, so let's go to Oberpollinger has been wanting to get like a kitchen machine and we have been actually looking at the ones from KitchenAid but I didn't know that Smeg also has some and this one looks really nice and I just love that everything fits but the other option is of course the KitchenAid one that is here we principally like the black most since it would fit to all the interiors and yeah I'm just having a look getting inspired for our future and what we want to have and I think once in a while it is quite healthy to dream and go to places where you also can't afford stuff. All right and after all the fancy shopping I stepped quickly into TK Maxx which uh, as you may know is like a cheap uh, shop where they have always some kinds of discounts and I got myself some uh, beautiful like summery springy orange jewelry that I will show you back home and I think uh, I'm just getting a bit tired and surprisingly there's still so many people in the city and then I always get judgmental and think well how are there so many people in the city in the middle of a work day but then I think that I'm also having an off day in the middle of a work day so yeah it's just uh, super full and crowded and I think I will be getting home and I still want to work out, go on a run and stuff like that. So I think it's a good time 
to just head home and chill back there so yeah I will show you the jewelry back home and then let's see how the day goes further on after that so I am back home and I've already had a little bit of a chill and a snack and I thought I might show you what I got from uh, TK Maxx three things because yeah, I'm super happy about this purchase. Yeah, I think it is always interesting to see what other people get. So first of all, I got this Marvis toothpaste and I'm a big fan of Marvis because they have uh, really good ingredients and uh, the flavors are a little bit of different and uh, no fluoride, etc. So yeah, I'm very, very happy about this and it's anise mint flavor. Uh, they also have, I think, one of my favorites, Sol, is um, cinnamon flavor, but they have uh, yeah lots of different flavors and my toothpaste is running out, so this is quite literally perfect. And then I also got myself some jewelry and I don't buy jewelry that often, but I, this one spoke to me. And I think this is such a good addition to my wardrobe and will look really interesting. So here are these orange earrings. And I have quite a lot of orange elements in my wardrobe, so I think they will fit perfectly. And then they also had a matching necklace. And it's definitely a statement piece that is a little bit out there. But I think with the right combination it uh, will work really well. I'm a big fan of jewelry and spicing your outfits out with some uh, color pops here and there. So I'm really excited and I think these will fit really nicely in spring and summertime. With uh, yeah, a lot of different outfits I already have some in mind. And I have an orange, like really orange bright bag. So I think these three elements will look so cool together. And uh, yeah, that was kind of it for my day. I'm going to prepare myself for a super short run today and maybe a little bit of stretching because I'm feeling really sore. And otherwise, I'm just going to be home, read a book, take a bath um, or something like that, edit a little bit my videos. So I will see you again tomorrow. Yes, yeah, Sarliki, will you be here with me tomorrow? Hello and happy Thursday. As you can see, it is full power raining and the weather is really not that pleasant. But uh, today is one important event because it is Xava's birthday. And uh, yeah, it is already afternoon, it is after work. But uh, before celebrating Xava's birthday today, we are actually going with Maggie and a few other girls to Studio Odeonsplatz. Oh God, you just got for a fashion event and we are going to learn how to accessorize correctly and uh, yeah that one will be for a few hours so I will definitely show you around because Studio Odeonsplatz is one of my favorite places in Munich it's super beautiful and then after the event I am meeting Saba in the restaurant and we are gonna have a little day date with him and me uh, and yeah we will have dinner at a little bit like nicer and fancier place so I will also be showing you that unfortunately I forgot my camera at home because I had a really stressful morning getting ready so you will have to deal with my iPhone uh, footage but I think it is not too bad either and yeah so it's a bit early for the event and I'm just meeting uh, Maggie in a cafe because yeah being outside isn't really an option so I have to turn it off now because I need navigation but I will give you some updates a little bit later on
Alrighty, we just got home from our dinner Enjoy and instead peaches. and instead of a fancy dinner in the restaurant from the book that I told you about, Mr. Someone Certain forgot to take the book, although I reminded him, so your own fault. And instead we went to Greek place with uh, Maggie and her partner. And uh, I think it was uh, what is this? even better uh, dinner plan and that's how it was supposed to be. And now we have, uh, yeah, actually we have to go to bed because tomorrow is a working day. But we have an exciting package to open up and I want Xava to show my present from me. The t-shirt that says they see me a rolling. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> and uh, a new favorite T-shirt for 2024. Exactly. I knew that he wanted it for a while, so now you have it. And my detox is over. Yes, he didn't drink any alcohol from first of uh, January until his birthday, but now it's over. But now let's do our very adult unpacking of course like i showed if there's a box there is a cat and if you open the box then there will be another cat so come on open it soil is helping to open it already <laughs> oh see another cat appeared from somewhere even the shy one wants to be in the action <laughs> I'm looking, Sully. Oh my goodness, how exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Sol is the superstar of all my vlogs anyway. Sol, what is in there? Oh, look, oh, let's look in there. <laughs> what? Oh, what is in there? Oh my god, oh, what is in there? <laughs> What's in there? Open! Come, try. Wait, let me help you. <laughs> Awa, that's my hand. <laughs> what is in here? What is in there? <gasps> what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one, now they're fighting about the box. <laughs> why is it like that? Kreto, explain to me, why do you like boxes? Oh no, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We ordered some new ergometric pillows, memory foam, because we were both unhappy with our pillows. I still cannot believe that this is better than a normal pillow. I don't know, do you have like a test phase that you can send it back? I have a test phase. <laughs> what was that? It was my test phase. Yeah, so these, what's the brand from? Can we show that? Yeah, why not? Okay. This is not sponsored by the brand. Please sponsor us, Ergolex. <laughs> us? Now it's our channel or what? No, just the Ergolex commercial. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not a commercial. No, it's not. The commercial, not. Ah, oh, look, you can take it also as a winter. Uh... Amazing. Then you can grab it also. Amazing. If you have a broken arm? <laughs> Hopefully not. You can... You can take your broken arm, just hang it there. Or you take a cat in there. Amazing. Wait, you know. Or we focus on the actual pillows and show the people what kind of pillow we got. Well, we have to open it carefully. We have 100 Tage Zurückgeben Garantie. Ah, good. 100 days. I know how much it is. Do you use them with a... <laughs> what was that? Ew, this is this typical plastic smell, but... Oh. And we will air it out. So yeah, we are gonna be testing softer, the pillows and I will let you know... I will let you know oh. in a few days how it feels like. Here's a, look, here's a bump. Here's mm -hmm. a dent. I guess this is for... For sure there's a recipe. You mean instructions. That's what I mean, a recipe. Here is the recipe. Auf Grund der aktuellen kalten Temperaturen dauert es derzeit etwas länger, bis das Kissen seine Feuchtigkeit. Sorry, there is a more interesting action happening here. <laughs> Girls, what is happening? 
Go play in the box. Here's a box, look. Go into the box. Well, if we leave it like this, they pee in it. Yeah. Okay, continue with your pillow talk. Now here it says it's not fully exfolded, but it was already exfolded in the package now, so I guess this yeah. doesn't have to be exfolded, they just put it... Yeah, exactly. Hello. So, we are going to be testing the pillows, uh, drinking the end of this wine glass, talking a little bit. Me, not you. Yeah, you, I don't drink wine. Yeah, so yeah. Hey, I wanted to end the vlog. And, uh, babe. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we will finish up here. Tomorrow is the pre-day before the party, so I'm gonna have to prepare and clean up, etc. But I will show you that tomorrow. And now, see you later. Hello, it is Friday and it's been quite a rough Friday. I'm absolutely exhausted and tired and not in the mood for anything. And it's 9.30 p.m. We came from uh, Metro, which is like a special kind of grocery shop because... Maybe Costco. We, yeah, I think my viewers are not so American. Awesome. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a, sh a shop where you can only go with like a special card and whatever it's because we went to buy um, most of the things for tomorrow's party uh, Xava's birthday party and we were gonna do Thai uh, chicken curry and vegetarian curry Very nice some drinks and uh, when I say we will do, actually Xava will do <laughs> that. I'm not really involved that much in the cooking process, but if you need help, of course, I'm there too, you know. Clearly he's more excited about something else. I don't know. Oh, and I'm so done. We haven't had dinner yet, so we are just going to prepare quickly. And with we. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, exactly. I mean. Xava is going to prepare quickly some leftovers and we're just gonna vegetate on the couch. Do you want to take over the vlog for a little bit? No. Sesame oil. We just have half of the stuff here now. The yeah, we left. Still, uh, in the car. We left well, stuff we in the car trip. that Thank didn't. Uh, <gasps> Hello. Kollegin. That didn't need to be like refrigerated and we spent over 200 euros. Hello, don't abuse our cat. Look, it's a clock. <laughs> when did you have time to change it to PJs? I feel like every time I'm showing you to the people showing pyjama work, pants. Our work clothes are PJs. Yeah. It's my life. Anyway, Xava, I'm leaving you the cameraman. Nee. <gasps> Bruno the cameraman. Bruno the cameraman. No cameraman. Yeah, no cameraman. Let me check your masterpiece. Uh. Here you can come with me and check out if the glass is masterpiece. We supposedly really needed new red wine glasses. Yeah, because these are not enough. Look. We have some up there, but... Not enough. Not enough, according to the wine expert. So we had to buy some other wine glasses. Moment of truth. Yeah. Does it, it fit? fit? Wow. They're huge, huh? It fits. And when it closes, will it be fine? Yeah. And I have many glasses now. What? Amazing. Huge. Yeah, this is by the way the masterpiece that Xava did. I think I have never showed it to the vlog people. This white wine glass. And yeah, it's kind of like a bar thingy that you can use. Bar thingy. Yeah, there's a lot deeper explanation that I don't have the energy for today. So yeah, he's just gonna fill up these things. Beautiful. Then Xavo will do dinner 
and uh, that will be <laughs> everything that I show you from today but yeah I'm just not feeling it today but vlog is long enough anyway and tomorrow is a fun time so today I just have to you know a little bit uh, rebalance and uh, recharge my batteries and things like that so see you tomorrow Happy Saturday morning. I slept for 11 hours and I finally slept at out. 11? I think so. Mm -hmm. Yes, I went to sleep at 11 and I woke up at almost 10. Maybe 11. 11 hours and we are having our breakfast or brunch, whatever you want to call it. Actually, it's not brunch no, it's yet. Breakfast. It's still breakfast. It's 11 in the morning and Xava did an amazing, amazing breakfast that I, of course, want to show you. Do you want to present it? Here it is. Yeah, explain awesome. to so the lucky. peoples <laughs> here. It's an uh, omelette. To the peoples? I mean people. This is a joke. Come on, explain it. No, uh, you already touched mushrooms. yours here. No, it's mushrooms. Mushroom with... Uh, egg, tomatoes, tomatoes, avocado, omelette basically, and uh, avocado on top. Drizzled with some balsamico. Amazing, and he even did a matcha for me, which is so thoughtful. <laughs> and I could just chill in bed while he was doing it, so I'm so spoiled. Yeah, and uh, once we are done with breakfast, we actually have to get going with uh, some other things. We have to prepare for the party, and I still want to go to the gym. So yeah, we're just gonna enjoy this quickly. And I will update you a little later. Our cats are really starting to shed a lot of uh, hairs because yeah, it's getting warmer and we took out our magical hairbrush and she goes absolutely crazy for it. We've been brushing her for the last five minutes and she just enjoys it so much. <laughs> it's good for us and good for her and soon we can make a totally new cat out, of, of, the, this. <laughs> out of the hair that comes off. We do a puppet cat. We have to find our second cat and she also likes it. She's just not so cuddly as this one. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, Sol, are you enjoying it? <laughs> so this will be our activity now for the next... <laughs> oh, do you like it? <laughs> I think she does. <laughs> I am back from the gym and I'm cleaning up the apartment and Xava is doing the chicken curry and the vegan curry and yeah, where are you in your process, progress? Uh, cutting vegetable and um, frying it quickly but just a little bit that it's not like done See here. Yeah, let me show So here you have some beans And then you put them to the side, to the side and then there's later some on will be paprika here, some paprika over there as well, carrots, carrots. and uh, here's already mushrooms and eggplant. Mm -hmm. Here's the curry paste for later, nice. that will be mixed with um, oil in the pan and then with coconut milk. Yeah, we got five liters of coconut milk because we are cooking for around 25 people so it has to be enough for everyone to be full, yeah, full and, and worst case if there's some leftovers we can have them for the next days or we can freeze it so it's always good exactly and yeah here's a little bit of a process I have to go and continue cleaning up because I still have to shower as well so I guess I'll show you a bit later again the progress of curry Your. or you take over and film De okay <laughs> then I'll sh catch up in about an hour or so and see where where it is and how it looks like exactly all right and here is the end result the vegetarian one with lots of veggies like, what is the green thing uh, aubergine no the green green um yeah parsley not coriander i'm not sure you better no, ask yeah oh no i think it's better. and yeah and the party is kind of 
starting kind of on the way there's some people coming but I will not film anymore so see you tomorrow hello and it is Sunday and I am feeling super tired because we didn't sleep that long we went to bed at like almost 5 a.m. or 35 a.m. didn't sleep that long and uh, the, ca the house is in complete chaos like it always is after parties Xawa was kind enough to clean it up while I was showering and getting ready but there's still a lot to do but yeah I'll get to it eventually um, but now we are actually on our way to have uh, Lenner with uh, Xava's parents and we are going probably to like a burger and salad place called Peta Pane and uh, yeah we are actually a little bit in a rush because they are waiting for us downstairs are you ready Xava? Mm -hmm. so I was born ready you were born ready so yeah I will uh, show you a little bit of our food um, but today is not very active day mostly recovering getting ready for the weekend we like having slow and easy Sundays um, maybe cleaning up a little bit depends how long we are etc but I can also do that tomorrow I'm never in a rush to clean up so yeah see you in the restaurant and I'll show you our amazing food Yeah, but it's okay actually so we are back from the restaurant and the food was so tasty I actually never been to Peta Pane before it's basically the same thing as Hans im Glück um, if you know it's a chain in Munich is it around all Germany or just in Munich? I think they even have it in Singapore if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken okay so it's a chain restaurant and that I also like Hans im Glück but Peta Pane was also really really good it's a little bit more expensive, but um, yeah, the salads, the salads and everything were amazing. So I cannot. I think it's worth going there if you like salads and burgers. And now we are on our way to Sava's friend to check out some like work tools, uh, the old ones that they don't need. And of course, Xava is always motivated about anything that has to do with tools and uh, yes yeah, since they are there right now um, we're gonna use this opportunity and check it out and I'm just there for vibes so let's see if, if Xava finds something useful for himself or not everything changes every which way As you saw from the footage, there was a lot of different old stuff, old tools. What do you think? Was it was it interesting for you? Interesting, yeah. A lot of nonsense. It's so crazy to think how much stuff people have and that stuff is like over the years. yeah and that things are some from the war times no or even oh maybe more not but yeah but shortly, shortly after, after 
it's crazy but now we are out Xava reserved some things that you will pick up then another time with your big car and now we are driving back home gonna chill out a little bit but it's also already quite late so not that much time to chill yeah, out call with our American friend exactly and uh, yeah for you the vlog is over thanks for watching hopefully it was interesting and I'll see you again next week everything changes every which way you got to hold on to what you need